Hey there, it's Aaron. It is uh, 11.32 p.m. on November 15th, 2015, or 2015, I've been reading. Uh, I thought I'd make a video. Uh, I just uploaded, uh, well not just, probably about, about an hour ago, uh, a video on YouTube uh, that I filmed at the beginning of November. And uh, it was all edited and uh, ready to go. And then, typical me, it goes online, you know, five days later. But uh, nevertheless, it's up there. So, uh, and since then, uh, I've gotten more stuff. Uh, some good stories, too, of how I got uh, really scored some uh, vinyl. I guess you could say sort of a family friend. Uh, someone who uh, had helped my sister, uh, my younger sister, uh, pick a major for college. Uh, uh, had talked to me about job searching and whatnot uh, about a month or two ago. And uh, she went to the catch up with me. And then uh, when I told her that I was selling vinyl, she said, well, my husband has a couple of records, you know, you can come on over and see what you like. You can negotiate a price. So I went there uh, tomorrow, no, next, last Tuesday. So it's almost a week ago. So I went over there and wow, there were a lot of albums there. Um, I mean, it could probably, well, not a lot. I mean, more than I thought there would be. Uh, probably a good 30, 40, 50 um, so I just picked out the ones. I, I picked out a lot. Probably a good 20. Then I had to narrow it down because I only had a $20 bill in my hand. And I ended up taking 10 records. Now, good thing is, is that most of them are for stock. And so far, I've already sold a bunch. And then I've already gone through my own collection to see uh, if there's anything I want to give up. Like, uh, uh, one great story was uh, I gave up a uh, copy I got earlier this year of Prince, uh, Purple Rain, on vinyl. Uh, I like the album. I'm happy with it on CD. Just CD. I don't know. Maybe I can get the vinyl another time, but right now I don't need it. I got it for three bucks over at uh, the tunes that closed near me, and for some reason it sold for $15. So I made a lot of money there. Uh, as for the records that I got from this person that I met. Uh, yeah, a lot for stock. Uh, I can say that I got some Talking Heads albums, uh, Fear of Music and Remain in Light. But I sold them as a twofer and someone went for them for the price I gave, which was 14 bucks. So that's good. So uh, in total, I got 10 records, three for myself and then seven for stock. I paid 20 bucks. Not bad. So, um, the three records that I did keep for myself are, uh, these ones here. One here. So, uh, Black Sabbath. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. A little bit beaten up here, uh, you know what I mean? It's over 40 years old, this record. But, uh, it sounds good. It's good, good record. And Black Sabbath are pretty hard, hard to find. And when you do find them, they're pretty pricey. So, good find. All right. uh, another Sabbath. Sabotage. Alright, and uh, not in the best condition. There are some scuffs on it. Although it does play fine. Um, I couldn't have turned this one down. Joe's Garage, Act 1. It's a bit weird for me to get this album because I'm more familiar with Joe's Garage as a double album when back in 1979 it was released as two albums. Um, they came out with Act One, I can't remember what month in 1979, probably September. And then two months later he released Acts Two and Three. And then uh, later when Frank reissued all this stuff, he just offered both Joe's Garage albums. Uh, as a two CD pack, three LP pack uh, for the vinyl, but uh, I'm more familiar with it as a 
double album. But uh, and it had this cover. So um, all right. As for the other albums, I uh, got from uh, Black Sabbath Volume Four, which uh, I found uh, in uh, that ACDC sleeve. If you saw the last video, uh, that I sold. I got some Rolling Stones, some girls. Uh, a uh, really cool find. Uh, Grand Funk uh, were an American band on colored vinyl, and nobody's taken it. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mentioned Some Girls, Grand Funk. Um, Roxy Music, uh, Country Life. I got that. Uh, the Wall, Pink Floyd. Uh, Pink Floyd are big uh, when it comes to vinyl. Uh, there's about eight watchers and eight bits placed for it uh, ends tomorrow, so probably not going to have any chances to get in on the action there, so uh, yeah. And then uh, the one other album I got on vinyl uh, that wasn't a part of this batch was uh, this. That was from Discogs. Love Forever Changes. And then uh, I mentioned in the last video about Kate Bush. Yeah, I got, I sold that one album. So I got the CD, Kick Inside, uh, great album. And not only the, did I get this, uh, I got this, her third one, I think, yeah, uh, Never Forever. Uh, this one, I was just looking at used copies of this album on Amazon, and I saw that there was one that was used and uh, shipped with Prime. If you're familiar with Amazon Prime, it ships in one to two days. So I immediately got it. So, I mean, for four bucks, which means no additional shipping. So yeah, and they both came on the same day, along with the love uh, vinyl. So score. Uh, this one, great album. Uh, I'll go through my favorite songs on this because I never really do that with these. Uh, I haven't done that with the Kate Bush albums here. Um, my favorite songs on here on um, Moving's good. I like tight. The Man with the Child in His Eyes. Wuthering Heights was a hit for her. Um, James and the Cold Gun. Feel It's pretty good. Them Heavy People. Yeah. It's a good debut album. What's that? Okay, and your third album on Never Forever. All right, this has a Babushka, which I adore. If you have not seen the video for Babushka, go on YouTube, look it up. It's wonderful. Oh, I love, I love the video for that one. Um, what else? All we ever look for, Egypt. The wedding lust is wonderful. Violin, Army Dreamers. Has a great lyrics and uh, breathing. Uh, yeah, really, really good album. And uh, the other albums I have of hers are uh, digitally owned, uh, which would be The Dreaming, which I mentioned before, I think. I got it from the one good thing about Prime Day was that I got to get $5 off of uh, The Dreaming by Kate Bush. So when me and I've only paid three ninety nine for it. That and then uh, Hounds of Love, which I got from iTunes uh, at the beginning of this year. So, uh, yeah, so I'm looking into getting, I don't know where to go next. Maybe I'm hearing the Sensual World's a pretty good one of hers. Um, what else? I know there's a second album that I got, Lionheart. And um, what other albums does she have? She, don't, she doesn't have too many. Uh, there's a double album she came out with about 10 years ago, Ariel. Maybe I'll get that one. Um, but yeah, I'm looking into that area. Maybe any recommendations, if you're watching this at all and you have any recommendations about uh, where I should go next with Kate Bush, uh, just leave them in the comments section. Much appreciated. Uh, that's uh, all for now. Uh, thanks for watching.